Now let's get into our challenge. You know me, there is no way I can have any one of my guests step into my laugh <laughs> without putting them to the test. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Who's the most competitive one? Okay, <laughs> I like that, I like that. Well, we're gonna need all the competitive natures because we're about to put Nadia and Xavier to the test. And we're gonna be playing a round of who is more likely to, which will be followed by a twist as we keep the fun going. Now, this is how the game works. I'm gonna be asking you a question and you're gonna have to write down either Nadia, Xavier, both or none. Okay, so there are four options that you can choose from and you can write them down on your pieces of paper, well, your boards, <laughs> your boards. And then um, we will then see how similar your answers are. But don't forget, there will be a twist coming after, I'll, I'll let you know. It comes off of question four. Okay. Okay, okay. you ready? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Ready. Now to answer the questions, <laughs> I'm not gonna give you all the time in the world. Things have to be a little bit challenging. So I'm gonna be putting 15 seconds on the clock. If you do not have the answer by 15 seconds, it's automatically not your question. I don't think we'll need that much time. You don't know we need that much time? Only five now. Your first question goes a little like this. Which one of you is more likely to claim that they've seen a ghost? Who believes in extraterrestrial creatures? Who's the sp spooky, spooky one? Five, four, three. Oh, they're already ready. Xavier, okay, you already got your answer, number one. Nadia, oh, you both got that right. <laughs> Nadia, are you one for the spooky vibes? Yeah. So, are you, do you love Halloween? Uh, you know, it's, 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 a, it's a lot more, it's a lot more deep. It's a, yeah, it's deeper than that. Oh, wait, I think I've actually seen a video about this. I think I might have seen a video about Nadia and ghosts, but let's... Story time, maybe. We'll do a story time about that. <laughs> let's keep it going. Question number two goes like this with both of you with a score on the board. Which one of you is more likely to write a bestseller? Who's somewhat of an author? A bestseller, whether it's a fictional story, whether it is a bio, a self-tell-all, I don't know, up to you, but who is more likely to be the author? You guys both, how confident are you? Yeah, very, very, very confident. <laughs> In three, two, one, you can reveal your answers. Nadia, again, my girl. You don't think I can write good stories? I, I, I write amazing I, stories. I write, a, a lot of people don't know what I write about a poetry on the side. I like that. Oh. A little bit of a creative queen, but my question is, is it about extraterrestrial paranormal activity or is it, well, what is it about? It's, it's about? it's about a lot of things, mm. mostly about love. Oh, about love, well, let's keep, I'm in love. I feel like I'm in love right now. <laughs> question number three goes like this, and it seems as if this couple know each other so well. Let's see if this one will be the defying, differentiating factor. Which one of you is more likely to, send, to spend all of their money on something stupid? Who is someone who's just has got a loose, loose wrist? Keeps taking out that credit card, keeps going on shopping sprees, but for something that is nonsensical. Okay. Here we go. Let's go. Let's see, reveal. I need to hear about this, because normally <laughs> it's normally the woman. No, it's you. Mm. It's, it's me. You. It's me. It's me. <laughs> I'm not really a spender, man. Yeah. Mm. But I spend on the people I love. I don't yeah. spend on myself. You'll buy gifts for other yeah. people. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah. Okay, I like that. But I also did say about something stupid. So, do you? Are you? Are you? Do you? Are you one of those quick, in momentary, spontaneous? Yeah. I love it right now. I'm getting it. I think she would like it. Bye bye. Mm. Okay. <laughs> well, <laughs> it seems as if there's nothing that can separate this couple. With question number four, oh, both of them have um, all three points on the board. Number four goes like this: Which one of the two of you is more likely to finish a whole dish of pasta by themselves? Who is in Zulu? You'd call it ikimba. Xavier, finally. She nibbles. she nibbles a lot. She nibbles here and yeah. she nibbles there. She doesn't eat the whole plate. She doesn't eat the whole plate. You pick the, is, is that is that true? Is that honest? It's true, but I nibble a lot, so yeah. a lot yeah, of different things. A bit of the things. pasta, and she has a bit of the garlic bread, and she comes back to you with pasta. I'll never <laughs> eat my own. I'll never have my own. own. Now, not only have we gotten these third parties to kind of verify whether it's fact or fiction, that is what we're asking you to do. All you need to write down <laughs> is it true or is okay. it false okay. about your partner? Okay. And Xavier, the first question goes to you. Oh, okay. Is it true or false that Nadia did ballet for three years between the ages of three and six years old? Nadia, you can.
cannot give him any clues, any hints. You cannot help him in any way. But I want to find out from you, is it true or false? Did she do ballet for three years between the ages of three and six? Your time has run out, Xavier. We cannot give you any more time on the clock. And again, we did have to call someone very, very close to Nadia. What is your answer? I said false because her toe is still looking ah. Let's see your answer before you... False. And so your answer is false. She has not done ballet for yeah, three years. I, you've never mentioned it. Never... Absolutely. She did, not, she did ballet indeed for three years. However, the part that was false is that she I only she... did it between the ages of six and nine. We had to call on Mama Bear and um, yeah, it was world. Nadia's it mom me, yeah. who let us know. I didn't tell him. To know why. It told me. I didn't tell him. <laughs> But he's still got a point on the board, so it's okay. Nadia, the next question is for you. Nadia, is it true or false that Xavier has a phobia or a distaste for other people's feet? Is it true or false that he's just not into people's feet? Xavier is not trying to let it up. He has a blank look on his face. Do you even know the answer? <laughs> it looks like Xavier doesn't know. The answer is true. Absolutely. We had to call on Assad, and Assad said, absolutely. Oh <laughs> Xavier really can't stand and hates other people's feet. Other people's feet, yeah. Feet. Yeah, other people's feet. Yo, yours are fine, yours are fine. Yours I are hope fine. so. No, yours are fine. Yeah. Too. See, I don't know if this is him trying to, uh, you know, get close as a couple. I'm not sure. But at the end of the day, they all have points on the board. Xavier, I want to find out from you, is it true or false that Nadia enjoys putting golden syrup all over her avocado and toast? Nadia, you guys are really having your poker faces out. You're not even trying to help him. Just like that. What is your answer, sir? No! The absolutely! Oh and we had to call on her bestie, Lindy Lynn. And Lindy says it's absolutely false. Nadia actually enjoys putting honey, not golden syrup, over her she avo and toast. She enjoys a lot of weird concoctions. <laughs> If I can say so myself. It's well, weird I, combination. I'd like to say the both, you know, both of you, the couple walk away as winners. Just as long as love is at the forefront of your table and what you're serving up, it is just good to go. At home, please do play this game with your loved ones and let us know who is the winner. Make sure you use that hashtag Afternoon Express in all of your comments. But there is more love coming your way on Afternoon Express.